Before I begin, I just want to reassure you there are no spoilers in this video. I am not talking about the film at all. I am just talking about the painting, the process, the colours, the thoughts, the anything else I can think of to fill time, to be honest. Um, but I'm not spoiling the movie anyway, so you can watch with that in your heart. Let's go! Hello ladies and gentles and welcome to another video and if you've been following me for a long time watching my videos you've probably discovered me I've paid Heath Ledger's Joker an awful lot so when I saw Joaquin Phoenix's uh, Joker coming out of the imagery I thought I oh, that's gonna be a pain for me at one point I completely ignored Leto's weird sexy one which I absolutely hated but this one is more up my alley so <laughs> that's what I'm doing Joaquin Phoenix Joker um so let's go into the painting the concept was quite simple I wanted to do a face which was monotone with the color of makeup being picked out here and there um, and I'm starting that here I'm starting with the makeup because I wanted to just get the color balance right on it uh, which actually on the eyes it isn't but I sort it out later uh, simple face um, the mouth sorry is just in three shades of red dark red light red and a much dark one the nose has got another highlight um, and then the eyes will be the same and then I'm going back in and doing this face all in grey. Now, there was an idea I had while painting this, and this is what I did. So my grey, I always take find my middle grey and mix up and down with black and white, maybe a touch of blue or a touch of yellow to bring it out, to make it less flat. Um, with this one, I wanted the colour bits to pop out. So normally I mix all my colours with sort of 50-50 emulsion and acrylic. I love the colour depth of acrylic, but I'm not too keen on the finish, and I love the finish of emulsion. It has a much flatter one. So what I did here is the face is emulsion and acrylic but a flat version then the red and the blue is nearly all acrylic so it's a bit shinier it's a bit thicker it's a bit deeper so they both kind of disconnected from each other which i thought was quite a nice idea this sort of you know the man behind the makeup and they're both disconnected from each other yeah you know what i mean <laughs> um, and also with this makeup I wanted to give it this sort of sad look so i'm kind of pulling the makeup down the eyes not to look like tears but to make it look a bit you know not as cheesy as a tear but pulling it down to make it look a bit more depressed and sad i guess um the um blue here was too primary at this moment i didn't like it so i went back in and desaturated it which was mixing another shade of blue camera his name and some black and white just to just to get that tone down it was way too way too blue way too sort of primary blue it needed to be this saturated chalkier blue and i think it looks much better for that so that's what i'm doing there correcting mistakes which you know when you're painting that's most of it you're just correcting mistakes all the time all the time and then going in there with a the dark blue uh this dark blue i mixed a bit of gray in so it would reflect the gray behind it which you know, works really well. Um, so the face, the face, I wanted to have this, you know, it's got makeup on. So his makeup is sort of bursting through his skin. The skin's bursting through the makeup. So it has this like jaggedy, rickety, broken effect. Normally you have wrinkles and stuff like that in the face to give it the character. With this one, it's sort of the mask coming off. So that's what those jaggedy bits are. I just wanted that idea that the um, makeup and the skin were fighting each other. Very much like the Heath Ledger Joker. And then the eyes. The eyes actually work backwards, tonal range. Normally I go light to dark. This time I went dark to light on the eyes just because I wanted to get the balance right. I had a bit of trouble with them at this point. Couldn't quite get them working. So um, getting the darks in first gives you the form and the shape. And then you add the lights to make it 3D or make it pop. The hair. The hair. Originally I painted this hair. Uh, I tested anyway on that one side in green, but it didn't work. It really looked weird. The green just took away from the focus of the painting, which is which is um, Whacking Phoenix and the Joker. I didn't want people to look at the hair really, so put that back into grey and uh, that worked much better. Um, tried not having the hair there for some reason it didn't work, which is weird because I thought it didn't really need the hair. Um, now we're going back in with the eyes, adding a bit of black. I was just again, just trying to get my um, form there. Um, at this point I realised that the um, eyes were too flat, so I added another shade of blue. Uh, a lighter one just to give it a bit more of a 3dness uh, to bring the nose forward put the eyes back just to give it that uh, form factor that you want when you're looking at something straight on you need to make sure your shades are correct um, and then the eyes uh, going in with a darker bluey gray there again to reflect uh, again making it darker just to bring that out and again make the 3dness i'm saying the same thing aren't i but you know that's what it's all about trying to get the form um, and then what are we doing now buggering about the eyes i buggered about these for about a day so i don't know what um i'm doing adding white adding black adding gray keep m fixing the mistakes that i think are going to fix stuff then the piece of resistance at the end of the painting i get my posca pen my ink pen and i go in and do all my cross hatching bringing out the eyelashes and the pupils and the nostrils and the uh, you know, the ruggedness of the painting the ruggedness of the face and i love doing that with ink at the end because it kind of reminds me of being uh, like a comic book artist when you go in and you get everything really 
formed and beautiful and a bit of white here and there to get the highlights and the lens flares on the eyes and that's him that's my joker um, this <laughs> fun paint to do it's been so long since i painted the joker um and i really loved getting those reds and those grays balancing together um well i don't know i hope you like the painting i did um if you want to do me a favor and help me out please visit my website to purchase the painting if you want it or even purchase prints that would be much appreciated but if you can't do any of that, please subscribe to my channel because that is great. I shall see you soon. Um, bye.